Evolutionists claim that the Earth and the universe are millions and billions of years old, that the Earth uh, came into existence four and a half to five billion supposed years ago. The Bible tells us that the sun, the moon, and stars were created on day four, three days after the creation of the Earth itself. Well, which one of these two is correct? Let's take a look, because we now have scientific evidence to prove that the moon is, in fact, young. For example, uh, are you ready to be staggered? Well, the moon is moving away from the Earth at an incredibly staggeringly fast rate of an inch and a half per year, or 3.82 centimeters if you prefer. That is an incredibly rapid rate. It may not seem like much to you, but the fact of the matter is, if the moon is moving away from the Earth now at an inch and a half per year, and this is a scientific measurement, that means that if you go back in the past, it would be getting closer to the Earth each year by an inch and a half initially. But of course, as the moon goes back towards the Earth, the force of gravity increases, and the speed at which the moon would come back to the Earth would increase. Going back in time, the moon would actually hit the Earth 1.37 billion years ago. But evolutionists say that they are the same age, four and a half to five billion years. So I guess if evolutionists were telling the truth, the moon must have been attached to the Earth for the first 3.6 billion years. Is that correct? Well, I don't think so. And of course, the moon could never have been touching the Earth even 1.4 billion supposed years ago. As a matter of fact, the moon could never have been really close to the Earth because of something called the Roche distance. It's 11,500 miles. If the moon had ever been that close to the Earth, the force of gravity of the moon and Earth in combination would be so strong that the moon would have been torn into pieces and we would have a ring instead of a moon. And so the moon could never have been that close either. But there's more. You see, if the moon were to continue to recede back in time for four billion years, uh, going out at not at an inch and a half per year, the rate would slow down as you go out, but, but if it continues to recede and it were to go out for four billion years, it would reach a distance of 350,000 miles from the Earth. But the Earth and the moon are a system, and the orbit of the moon has a direct influence on the length of the day. If we go out 350,000 miles, the Earth's rotation would slow down to 55 days a year. Well, 55 days a year, wait a minute. That would mean that the Earth would become too hot on one side for life to exist and too cold on the other. Also, the moon is too warm on the inside. It is losing one third as much heat every day as the Earth loses every day. Both are cooling down. And if the moon were five billion years old, it would already be stone cold to the center. When we went to the moon, we also found a radioactive element called Neptunium. It has a half-life of 2.2 million years. That may seem like a long time, but if we found it, that means that the moon cannot possibly be four and a half to five billion suppose years old because this radioactive element would no longer be there. Also, the sun appears 400 times larger than the moon as we look into the sky. Um, because the moon and sun are such that the sun is 400 times farther away, this is why we have a total eclipse. So because of the size of the moon and the sun being 400 times larger but 400 times farther away, the moon can perfectly give us a total, complete, perfect solar eclipse. And of course the orbital speed is 66,000 miles <laughs> per hour so we don't get it for very long. But if these two were not exactly correct, we would never see a total solar eclipse. Now, there's only one to two, three inches of dust on the moon. Now this does not indicate it's 6,000 years old, although the Bible says it is. It does indicate, however, that the moon is less than 200,000 years old, totally inconsistent with the evolutionary worldview, but it would be consistent with the creation worldview and would allow for the Earth and moon to only be 6,000 years old. Without the moon, the Earth's axis would start to wobble. Uh, the Earth is rotating. Without the moon to stabilize it, we would start to roll like a uh, pool ball. So we have to have the moon to keep us stable. And we need the Earth and the moon together because the moon stirs the oceans. If the moon does not stir the oceans and cause oxygen to get into the water of the world's oceans, the oceans would go stagnant. The fish would die, the plants would die, and if they die, we die because the plants in the ocean make more oxygen than all the trees and grass on the Earth. And so when we take a look at the actual physical evidence, we see that evolutionists are not correct, that the Bible is, and you really can trust the Bible about a creation 6,000 years ago.